Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're gonna talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the beta channel, which Microsoft released today. And this is the build 22623.1245. And this build is a smaller build for the beta channel, which has a few improvements and also fixes for the beta channel. Also, don't forget that in the article below in the video's description, you have more info about how the beta channel system works and why there are two different builds in the beta channel. If you enjoy videos like these, in which we talk about different Windows 11 Insider preview builds please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one so let's begin with the video first of all what you need to know is that insiders who were previously on the build 22622 will automatically get moved to build 20623 via an enablement package the enablement package artificially increments the build number for the update with new features getting rolled out and turned on to make it easier to differentiate from devices with the update with features off by default. This approach is being used for the beta channel only and is not an indicative of any changes or plans for final future rollouts. The only new thing and new feature that we have in this beta channel build is the new screen recording in the snipping tool. So to have access to that, just go ahead and open up the Microsoft Store and make sure you update all your apps to the latest version. Of course, this includes the snipping tool and you should have access to the recording section of it. Just go ahead and click on library and then click on get updates to get all the updates it's available for the apps in the beta channel and you should be good to go. And after that, if we open the snipping tool app, you're going to notice that you have two different buttons here. You have the snipping tool section and also the recording section. You can just click on new, select the section of the screen where you want to record, click on start, a timer will start and now you'll be able to record a screen. You have a pause recording button, a stop recording and also a discard recording button. Once you stop the recording, it will be automatically opened up in the snipping tool app and then you can save it and see how the recording recording was made. I think this is a pretty cool feature that Microsoft is implementing a default screen recorded in Windows 11 and of course they're gonna work on it and improve it even further. And basically that is all there is to it regarding new features and things in this better channel build but we also have some fixes. So for example regarding the task or system tray they fixed a high hitting shell experience host crash related to interacting with quick settings. Regarding the task manager they fixed a few issues causing task manager crashes. You now shouldn't have to make task manager be as wide before the navigation pane appears. If text scaling has been increased, the search box shouldn't overlap with the title bar text anymore. They also made some tweaks to address cases where text and dialogues was getting cut off when text scaling was increased. And they also fixed an issue where certain parts of the title bar couldn't be used to drag the window. Also, a notable thing that you need to know is that this update changes the experience for preview.net framework updates. I've reinstalled this update. All future preview optional .NET framework updates would be displayed on the settings, Windows Update, Advanced Options, and Optional Updates. On that page, you can control which optional updates you want it to install. So basically, this is all there is to it in this better channel build. Don't forget that you have more info in the article below in the video's description. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.